All right, man, I'm gonna shoot a video today installing this Jax brush guard on a G29 Yamaha golf cart. This one's highly modified. I don't really have many videos of all the other little amenities that I did, um, but I figured I'd throw this one on here. It's got a wrap, it's got the uh, Mad Jax lift kit, six inch lift kit. Um, UMAX wheels and tires, uh, the second seat back here, uh, the bazooka tube or bazooka audio bar here, the light bar, the Wink 5 panel. Um, yeah, man, it's it's got a good amount of stuff. All your lights and whatnot in here, rock lights, more of them right here. It lights up like a Christmas tree whenever it's all said and done, but I just lifted it. It was more of a lowered cart or, you know, just kind of a street cart. Now I'm lifting it, so I figured I'd give it a brush guard for that uh, rougher look, kind of like an off-road look, but not really. It doesn't really go off-road. Uh, it does have a copper wrap on it. We, we scraped it the other day, so I just threw a sticker over it. Uh, I'm going to end up having to redo the front on it, but... I'm gonna go ahead and get at it and throw this uh, Jack's brush guard on the front see how it turns out I think on the side pretty much what we're gonna have to do is pull these off slide it down in there and I mean this will just come off we slide it up and then you'll be access to two bolts one here and here same on the other side and then underneath here there is a 10 mil uh, hard to see right here <laughs> Yeah, there it is. You can see there, 10 mil. And uh, that should get it all dialed up. All right, I've got the side pieces. Uh, take it off so you can see the bolts now. These are gonna be a 13 millimeter, both of these. They might be different on your cart, but I assume not. Yes, it's dirty. Uh, this cart actually gets rode. It's not some show cart or something like that or sitting in someone's garage, never being rode. We drive this thing all the time. So. Those are gonna be 13 mils. This one on the bottom side is gonna be a 10 mil. Oh, another issue you're gonna have or uh, you might have to deal with is supporting this. When you undo both those 13 mils on the side, that top's gonna to wanna to kinda of come down a little bit. So, I mean, if you've got a helping hand or, or a board you can brace in between there, that'll help and keep it upright because you're gonna have a lot of things going on when you're trying to shimmy this in the side i won't be able to shoot that while i'm doing it but i'm gonna have my 13 year old come out and uh, hold the top up while i'm doing it all right we're under the front cowl again it turns out that mine is an eight millimeter um yeah some of them have uh 10 mils some have eights i guess it just depends on how it was put together or where it was put together all right all my uh bolts are undone it actually it looks like there is a there's a stop right there, so it's not gonna go all the way down. So that's a plus. It just goes about that far. Uh, so I should be able to do this just by myself, no help, uh, no brace, no nothing. There it is just set on. I had to have my son come help and uh, squeeze it into place and whatnot. But uh, it's looking like a good, nice and tight fit. I had to actually have him pull out one side while I did the other. It's a tight fit and I didn't want to scratch up the uh, wrap that's on here. So um, yeah, it looks like he did on his side a little bit, but the whole front does have to be rewrapped. So not a big deal. That's why I have my Z1 sticker sitting there. But I mean, that gives it a nice rugged look. That's for sure. All right, it's on there now. Uh, the center one can be a pain to get to because you got to go across. The top side here, and you got a lot going on, plus my bracket that was mounted right behind this bumper was slightly bent in, so I had to pull it out some just to make it line up. I mean, if you've your cart's got some miles on it, maybe it's bumped a few things, you might have a little bit of persuading to do. Uh, but man, it, that really completes that look. It looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up all these bolts now that I've got it in there and uh, clean it up a little bit. All right, that's the cart finished product. It's looking pretty awesome. Uh, Jack's front brush guard. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact price it is, 
I believe it was somewhere around 170, 180 in that range. I can put a link to the uh, to the spot where I got it in the description. Um, I mean, if you're gonna do a lifted cart, I think it really helps the front. If you got a wrap on the front, I mean, it could potentially save something from bumping into your wrap or, or whatever, kind of like what I had here. Not that this would have saved it, but I mean, that's a nice aggressive look. It follows the headlights really well. I mean, those are pretty much the headlights everyone runs on these uh, G29s. So, and I'm sure this would work on the newest model as well. So yeah, that's it.